Hello and welcome, it's Emilia here. Today I would like to share with you very simple technique for making gorgeous Fomuran flowers. You don't need to shape the flowers a lot, so minimum work and a wonderful effect. For the flowers I will be using Lady E Design flower 10 a set of cutting dies. I prepared some die cuts in two sizes later on I will also uh, add smaller sizes to show you how to create those very little flowers and um, I have used white formiran which I cut in two uh, folded in half two layers at once. The die has embossing the vines on the flower so if you don't want that embossing on the formiran you need to remove one of the layer from your sandwich i use sizix die cutting machine and it has like three different or even four different layers i remove the thinner one from the machine so my embossing it's not so visible on the formiran uh, apart of the dies and formiran, I will be using uh, shaping tools, different sizes for different size of petals, iron, iron is uh, required here to shape the flowers, and um, something to color the flowers, you can use inks, uh, I have gelatos here, mm, you can use oil and soft pastels. And uh, you also will need some stamens to go inside your flowers. I used those uh, plastic <laughs> little stamens. I buy them in the range. I will try to find a link for them. This comes as a this this is artific artificial flower which I cut into very small pieces and one uh, like a bunch of those tiny pieces. It's a great stamen for the flower. So let's start with coloring. I'm using white formiran with a bit of pink in the center. You can of course use different color of foam or you can uh, color it in any color you wish. I'm adding only tiny uh, bit of the color in the center of each layer. Then the next step is shaping and this is super super easy. Set your iron to the um, middle heat so it's not very hot. We want the foam curl slowly on the iron. This way you can really control the size of your flowers because the longer you will leave it on the iron the smaller it will become. My iron is a ordinary iron, it's smaller because it's a travel version. Remember to um, switch off the um, steam. <laughs> Sorry for the word. Yes, and then shape each flower the same way. I place it on the iron with the color towards the iron and I wait for petals to curl slowly. Then I press each petal uh, with the ball in the foam and this is it I'm not doing anything else I'm not curling the petals I'm not uh, rolling nothing just placing on the iron and waiting for it to curl on the iron and for the flowers I will be using different sizes of petals for the big flower I will use one size of a smaller and do two sizes two layers of the bigger size so one flower will be three layers and then I will create also one layered flowers out of those little layers those one layer flowers are great for filling the compositions they also look really lovely on the uh, on the cards on the other projects and they are quick to make
To add the stamens, I will be cutting those bunches into uh, pieces or keep them as a one piece. For smaller flowers, I will maybe use three of those um, plastic elements. For the bigger flowers, more. And for the big flower, I will use one bunch. This one bunch is, I think, five or six of those stamens. So now I'm doing that bigger flower, which will have one smaller layer and two big layers, uh, three layers in total. When you're sticking it all together, remember to not to overlap the petals. And I also add a tiny dot of a glue between the layers. This way you will secure the stamens and then you can cut them off, um, not worrying that they will fall out. So I hope as you can see, this is very simple and a lovely technique. The flowers are gorgeous and I have uh, created them before. I had a short video on Instagram for this, but uh, I don't think I had a tutorial. Even if I did, oh well, this is the update. <laughs> I still like to make them. And uh, when you have few of them, they look absolutely lovely. So I hope you will use that tutorial and create your flowers with it. If you do not have that set of dice, you can use different sets. Don't worry about that. You can create similar flowers with different uh, shapes of the flowers as well. It's not only for those five petals because this technique will work for um, for any uh, any sizes and any um, amount of petals. The result can be slightly different but I'm sure you can still uh, try and create something beautiful. So I want to thank you very much for coming here and watching my video. Please let me know what do you think about the technique. Will you try that? Will you create the flowers? And if you will also, if you could tag me on social media, I would really appreciate it. And of course, thanks a lot for all the comments and all the love I receive uh, from you below my videos. It's just amazing. Thanks a lot. Have a lovely creative day. Bye bye.